Hey, this is Ema with Next Wave STEM, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your classroom set up on Tinkercad. I will also go over how your students can join your classroom. At Next Wave STEM, we use Tinkercad to teach students how to make 3D designs, which they can later print. To get started, sign up for an educator account. Make sure to sign up as an educator so you have the ability to create classrooms and monitor students' designs. After signing up, you will be brought to this homepage. Navigate to Classes, and let's create our first classroom. Let's give it a name. As an example, I will use ABC Elementary School, 4th grade. The next two settings are not critical, so select what fits your class best. My go-to subject is Design, but Engineering and Technology are also great options. You will now see your class listed here. As students join your class, you will see how many students are enrolled. Let's click on our class. On this page, you will find the classroom code. Students will need this code to join your class. Now, I love Tinkercad because it is free and accessible for students of all ages. Younger students who do not yet have emails can bypass making an account and still join your classroom. You do this by manually adding each student to the class. Let's click Add Student. You have the option of adding students one by one, or you can copy and paste a list of students. A nickname will automatically be generated for each student, which you can go in and edit yourself if needed. Let's add an example student named Mia. Stay tuned to see how Mia can join via nickname later in the video. Designs is where you will be able to see students work. Students must be enrolled in your class for their designs to show here. Here, you can also open students' designs to help tinker and make adjustments. The last useful feature is this co-teachers tab. Here, you can invite other teachers to be a co-teacher in your classroom by sharing this invite link with them. They will need to make an account and accept the invite. Then any co-teachers will also be able to view students' designs from their account. Now let's switch to a student's perspective, Mia. Mia does not have an email to make an account, and so they will be logging in with the nickname option. After Mia navigates to Tinkercad, they will select Login. Then they will select Students with Class Code. Here they will type the class code. And then they will select Join with Nickname. Their nickname will be the nickname that was generated earlier after manually entering the student. Nicknames are not case sensitive, but be mindful of spaces as those do have an effect. As long as students have the class code and their nickname, they can access their work from any computer. After successfully logging in, Mia can now see that they are a part of the ABC Elementary School fourth grade class. Students who wish to make an account or already have one can log into their accounts normally and then navigate to classes and select join a class. And those are the basics of managing a Tinkercad classroom. Good luck designing and I will catch you in the next tutorial.